Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this time around, as you notice on the thumbnail, I am bringing you guys a complete different type of video. I wanted to actually do this for a while. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen that I actually have posted before some amazing drag art that I created beforehand. And I wanted to get back into that and I wanted to share it with you guys on YouTube. So here we are. <laughs> and I picked one of my favorite queens from season 13. Um, there are so many amazing drag queens to pick and choose from. So I ended up with Gottman. I chose her just because from the beginning, her entrance look was amazing. And then when they did the daytime challenge look, I was like flabbergasted. I was like, wow, she is amazing. I have to draw her. I knew right then and there that I was gonna create a video for her. And as far as RuPaul's Drag Race, what contestant are you guys rooting for? I would love to hear all about it in the comment section. So please sound off below. And now let's not wait any longer and get into Got Mix daytime look. So like always, we start off with a fashion figure and I wanted to give her a very confident pose just because it seems to fit her personality best. And now it's about time that we pop on that stunning Got Mick face. And she may look a little bit weird now, but these are just the basic shapes to create her actual look. And then we go in and draw out that bun shaped bang detail, as well as creating the shape for the entire wig and those long curls. The wig itself is one of the pieces that I loved about this outfit the most. I love that red hue of the hair and those long curls. It just looks so stunning on her. Another thing I really like about her is that she's so open and she's so confident about being trans. I feel like this is definitely gonna help a lot of people feel more comfortable in their own skin and a more diverse and inclusive cast. Now let's get into this look. And I am loving this all vinyl dress. It is so good. And you know, I love this strong shoulder detail because it's very different to other strong shoulder dresses that we've seen on RuPaul's Drag Race. It just looks a little bit more fresh and just more edgy. And I'm loving the asymmetrical hemline with the sun and the rainbow. She's definitely bringing some fresh and new ideas to the show. And now to these platform pumps. And even though these are not the newest type of uh, silhouette that we've seen in shoes on Drag Race, I really love how the, you know, daisy print on them makes them look so fresh and so new. Now let's jump in and fill Miss Got Mick with some solid colors. And as I'm doing this, I have to mention my other favorites from the cast. I am totally into Simone. I feel like she's really bringing some really cool fashions that are edgy and new. And I mean, she is gorgeous, first of all. And then Olivia Lux is so cute. She actually is bringing some looks too. And you know, I'm loving how she's pairing everything with those tiny little purses that are, you know, probably inspired by Jacques Mousse. Um, I'm loving all of it and get into these rainbow stripes on this dress. So good. I'm loving this look and it's making me think that this would make such a cool doll. Imagine it like if Integrity were release this. Oh my God, hands down, I would buy it. Now let's get back into this sketch and finish filling her out with solid color. And then after that, let's start shading in her face. This is one of my favorite parts of the sketch, you know, doing all the contours and highlights on a face. It's a lot like applying makeup, so you kind of go through the exact same steps, and I just love her makeup. Her makeup is flawless. I mean, she is so good at what she does. I mean, she is a makeup artist and has done people like Heidi Klum, so I mean, what did we expect, right? She is so good. I'm loving this like neon green eye with the darker shades to really shape out her eye. And I love how she paired it with this like neon pink lipstick, so good. And I'm loving how chiseled her cheekbones are. I am living for every one of her looks. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, I go back into her bangs and make them a little bit larger. I mean, I have to keep in mind that Michelle Visage is always telling the girls that they need to have bigger hair because they're drag queens. And I mean, you know, the bigger the hair, the closer to God, right? Now let's continue to add shadows with an airbrush tool to really give it some definition and add some, you know, texture and really showcase where the curls are. Now let's also go into the rest of her body and shade her out so that she doesn't look so pale and flat. Now let's go into this vinyl dress and give it some highlights and shadows to really make it look like vinyl. This dress was made by a LA based designer called Venus Prototype and they've worked with some amazing people. I'm seeing um, Nikita Dragon, Gigi Good on their Instagram feed and their stuff is amazing. Let's move down to her shoes and add those daisy details. Let's also not forget to add some shine details to make them look like patent leather. Let's move up to her hair and add some fine details with a calligraphy brush. Now let's also go in and add some highlights to really make the whole thing look rounded and just super shiny and lustrous like a real wig. Ah, she's looking so good. I'm so happy with the way she's coming out. Let's also give her a rainbow inspired manicure. Now back to her face, let's go and add some shine and shading to her lips to really make them like a glossy hot pink lipstick as well as adding the amazing full lashes that she has on both eyes and then we're going to add some more blush to her cheekbones to really chisel them out as well and then finish her off with those amazing super skinny eyebrows. And now to my signature finishing touches, all those sparkle details, and of course, my signature. Now let's also give her a background to make her look like she's actually grounded to something. And here is Got Mick all complete in her daytime look. I am totally in love with the way she came out. She is so good. I totally enjoyed doing the sketch and I'm hoping that you guys did too. If you guys did, please sound off below and let me know so that I can continue doing this type of content on my channel. And also voice which other drag queens you guys would like to see from season 13 on my channel. And as always, please remember to smash that like button Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future upcoming videos and share this video with all of your friends. It would really help me out. In addition, remember you can follow me on Instagram with the name MendozaGram.art and I will see all of you in my next video.